You're watching Chewing the Cut with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. Classic. Um, hello. Um, before we start, Lee, I need to apologise for the smell. What smell is that? The smell that's wafting from my body right now. Just the usual waft of fecundity that comes with fecundity? you. Fecundity? Yes. I don't know about fecundity. It's more like disappointment and sorrow. But... Oh, OK. This week, I have a new dating show that's totally mask for mask. Knowing wink. I'm bringing you a story about a pair of shorts that's caused quite a stir. And Lee is bringing us a new instalment of Crafty Queens. On screen now you can see our contact info. It's at The Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The Cud.tv for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And remember, you can write us a message or a little comment while you're there. Breaking news. Birdie birdie in the sky, laid a turdy in my eye. If cows could fly, I'd have a cow pie in my eye. But Mike, can you can a canned can into an uncanned can like a can a can can a canned can into an uncanned can? Would you like a jelly baby? A baby made out of jelly, you monster. But yes, please. First though, it's time to play Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he's just qualified as a jeweller, and his new beau has asked him over to inspect his family jewels. He says he can't wait to see them laid out for inspection on a red cushion, where he will check the stones for blemishes and happily give them a spit and polish if they ever need a bit of a buff. Afterwards, he says he secretly thinks his boyfriend may propose, and the producer says he can't wait to feel the man's ring on his finger. Well. I think he'll be lucky to come away with a pearl necklace. But while he bangs away at that, let's play our game. This week, we are poking once more into the shadowy depth of the entertainment that we call a gobby game show. And this one is for Lee. So, off you trot. While he slips away like a half-remembered dream on a cotton-fresh Sunday morning with the smell of coffee brewing on an open hearth and the whimsical sound of birds singing in the distant branches way beyond the breeze-ruffled curtains. Oh, sorry, I don't know what came over me there. Um, well, it wasn't me, Mike. Do you need a little moment to yourself to gather your thoughts? It's not my thoughts I need to gather. Are you ready for the first time, Mike? Yes. OK. Uh, this is a show that you like. Okay. Uh, in a, in a, in a Tally Hong Ox. I will exterminate. Oh. It's Doctor Who. It is Doctor Who. Oh. Okay. Next one. Really annoying, nasty foreheads. Uh, Nasty foreheads. Uh, why are you Why are you Saturday night telly, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, and you little, no, I can't do that. Uh, one's little, one's tall. Massive foreheads. What are little ones tall with a massive forehead? Why are you It's Saturday night takeaway. Challenge, challenge the chocolate factory. What? Challenge the chocolate factory. No. Willy Wonka was huge. And the Oompa Loompas had massive heads. No, they're English. Two. Oh, well, that was English. It was written by Roald Dahl. Two people. Out of Bin Buzz, what was it? Ah, uh, Ant and Dak. Ah, oh, no idea what you just said, but I'll believe you. you OK. Wrap another one out. Next one. Heinous artist. A heinous artist. Painted the sunflowers. Uh, chopped his ear off. A little bit gay. A little bit gay. Jason Perry. Huh? No, he's alive. Grayson Perry. No, he's, he's dead now. Grayson dead. Perry's not dead. Dead. Ginger Reared. No ear. Little bit gay. Sunflowers. Oh, sunflowers. A little bit gay. Topped his ear off! 
Maybe you listen to this show. Top <laughs> sake. Mike Tyson. Oh, you're joking me. Artist dead. <laughs> There's lots Some of dead artists. No, yeah. Ginger, little bit gay. I give up. <laughs> For the love of God, I give up. Vincent Van Gogh. You killer stuff. Why a little bit gay? He is a little bit gay. How is he a little bit gay? He, he was manic depressive. He wasn't a little bit gay. He did, he did, he did gay stuff. He did gay stuff. He did gay stuff with, with another artist. Or is it porn I've been watching? <laughs> Do they not have a little bit of cock fun? No. No, he, the reason he chopped his ear off was because he was in love with a prostitute who wouldn't have anything to do with him because he was bipolar. Oh, I thought there was a little bit of gay stuff going on there. <laughs> not bisexual, bipolar. Who, who, had a bit, who was the one who had a bit of gay stuff? Um, Dali. Salvador uh, Dali. Uh, uh, next. next one. Please, let's move on. <laughs> uh, heinous movie star. Another heinous movie star, okay. Heinous movie star. Uh... I wanna you love die just you and no Stop, cease, desist. I give up instantly. You no, no, no. Happy birthday, Mr. President. My bus is no longer working. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. President. Please, I've given up. Please stop. Oh, Mike, Marilyn Monroe. I, I, is it Marilyn Monroe? Yes. Right, okay. That's all I had to say. Was that the safe words to make you stop, Marilyn Monroe? No, we've, we're done it now. Moving on. <laughs> okay, this one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, thief. As a monkey. In the cave. Monkey in a cage. A cave. Cave. Uh, get all the treasure. Uh, genie. Uh, the princess. Uh, I'll sing if you don't get it. Why, why, why are we going about an incest in a cave? Princess. Princess Jasmine. Incest with Jasmine in a cave? Princess Who's... Jasmine. Stop shouting incest at me. Oh, God almighty. On a magic carpet, flying carpet. In Sally, da 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 Just You don't know the words. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Uh, I got the tune, but you don't know the words. To I don't Aladdin. know the words. I just know that. That way. You don't know the words. To Aladdin. Hold you I've already, I've already said Aladdin. Stop. Oh, you said stop, it. So. Oh, I yeah, said, you're right. Please stop. Aladdin. Okay. All right. Green. Ogre. Oh, donkey. It's porn. No. No. Uh, Liz in the swamp. Liz in the swamp? Liz in the swamp. Okay. In the donkey. Uh, uh, Is it a little donkey? No. Donkey! Oh, I eat Chinese. No, it didn't do that. <laughs> that, was, that was another character. What's wrong with you? Uh, that kind of sounds the same. What's uh, wrong with you? GRC. <laughs> I had no idea what that is. Um, donkey! Where are you, donkey? Cartoon character. I, um, I'm, I'm quitting. Shrek, you dumbass. It's what? Shrek. Shrek! Shrek! King Shrek. Oh, Shrek. <sighs> Now. <laughs> right, okay. Kids TV program. Right? Okay. On the moon. On the moon. The moon. The moon. Okay. Yeah, alright. Little pink things. Little pink things. <laughs> soup dragon. Uh, Did you say soup dragon? Soup dragon. Yeah. Soup dragon. Yeah. Little Soup pink dragon. things. The clangers. Oh, thank God for that, yeah. They're done. I purposefully got one of those wrong. Still to come, it's my fabulous new segment, Crafty Queens.
Fabulous is a bit of a stretch. But just after the break, we have Lee in the showbiz news. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Let's see what he has in store for us this week as Lee brings us the showbiz news. Did you know, Mike, that scientists have discovered that showbiz news is just as important as oxygen? Can't live without either. OK. What if oxygen's what's killing us, right, but we're all really addicted to it, which is why we think we're going to die? Let's do some showbiz news, shall we? OK. Do you know what we need, Mike? We need another dating show. <laughs> OK. We do. But one with a twist. With the dance? No, not Sisters. the dance, not with Chubby Checker and the Fat Boys. Oh, okay. This one is is a twist where the you don't know what that person looks like. Dating in the dark. No. Oh, okay. Because you can see them. Blind date. No. Okay. But they have been um, made up with prosthetics. <laughs> You're about to say, about to say hideously transformed. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> They've been mutilated. <laughs> They've been hideously mutilated with a blunt end of an axe. Um, no, they haven't. Okay. So they have been. So this program is called Sexy Beast. Oh. Sexy Beast. Sexy Beast. And this is. See, I, when I was looking at this, I was like, I'm sure I've seen this before. It's on BBC Three. And it was on BBC Three a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So the premise of it is, is that. It's a dating show, uh -huh. but the contestants are put into prosthetics, so they look nothing like themselves. So, you know, like, this one is, one's a baboon, mm -hmm. one's kind of something like a devil or something okay. like that. It's a bit like Blind Date, whereas in there's three contestants lined up. Mm -hmm. We've got a picture here of what befores and afters of some of them. So they're not ugly people. No, of course not. No. Um, but they make them look hideous. Different. Yeah. Um, so they the choose. Dolphin doesn't look hideous. It looks cute. The what? The frog man. The dolphin. The dolphin. That's weird, though. It's Human not hideous, dolphin. <laughs> it is. It's not hideous. No, it is. It is. I'd have a go. Um, so th what happens is, is that they have three people to choose from, or three creatures to choose from. Mm -hmm. They're also dressed up in prosthetics. Okay. Choose one just by what they, the answers to the questions that they get. Okay. Go on a date. Hooray! Mm -hmm. All that kind of stuff, and then. They have to decide if they want to continue seeing that person. Oh. And then they will do the reveal. Oh. So it's all about personality rather than... Body. You know... I... So it's not like Love Island or Naked Attraction. No. It's, it's about understanding the person before you jump into bed with them. So it's going to be... Um, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be narrated by Rob Delaney, the comedian. Yeah. Um, and there's six episodes in the series. Mm -hmm. um, some of the people are going to be dressed as, like you say, dolphins. There's a scarecrow. There's an alien. There's a panda. They go to restaurants, bowling alleys. Can you imagine, though, if you're just generally yourself, you know, going to a restaurant and there's a dolphin man and a crab woman sat in front of you? Ooh, that's, that's a date. I've seen worse. Yeah, so that, that is going to be on um, Netflix. Okay. Put that dolphin mask on. Take your pants off. Let's get jiggy with it. That could be what happens. Who who knows? That's a niche. Very niche. That's a niche thing. That's niche. Yeah. So that's coming out soon. Okay. I could see you on it. What yeah. would we what would we mask you up as, Mike? Something mask. <laughs> I want a chipmunk. Squirrel. Squirrel. Squirrel, yeah. Sexy I'm squirrel. After me nuts. Oh, okay. Um, are you are you a Catherine Tate fan? I'm not a Catherine Tate fan. Oh. Of course I am. Doctor oh, Who, okay. Donald Noble, right, the Donald right. Doctor. Well, yeah, so she's coming back to TV. She's had a massive break from TV. Yeah. And she's coming back. Um, so we've, I think we've got a picture of her here, as most people know her in Doctor Who. As, what was the character's name? I don't said. know, I don't watch Doctor Who. Donna Noble, the Doctor Donna. Whatever. I, I, didn't, I didn't watch Doctor Who. I liked her television comedy series. When she did with the different Nan. characters with the Nan, the woman that was shocked by everything. Yeah. Don't look at me, I'm shy. Yeah, all those kind of people. Yeah. So yeah, we've got some characters here. So obviously there's Nan in the middle. Mm -hmm. There was the nurse. Yes. The nurse girl. Uh -huh. The one, the, the teenage girl, not bothered. Mm -hmm. I'm a bothered. Don't know. Don't know. I'm a bothered. Don't know. I don't know. Um, then I don't know really who those two are there at the side. My favourite one was him though. And I can't remember his name. I think he was called Derek Fay. Why are you Not laughing at me? Written down. <laughs> I have, and I'm still not even looking at it. Um, 
Derek Fay, yeah. Derek Fay. Derek yeah. Fay. Ooh, gay, me, who say, you say, ooh, sir. Yeah. Or, or in the right order, which is, ooh, dear, me, yeah. dear, gay, dear, no, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I liked him. So she's coming back to do a um, comedy series, but it's it's all set in a female prison. Okay. So it's not it's not like Prisoner funny. of Cell Block H. Oh, that was funny. Um, it's it's a comedy, um, and so she's playing a prisoner, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm I'm, ass I'm assuming that she'll play multiple characters in it. There's a kind of a teaser thing there. Not, it doesn't really tease anything. Just it says Catherine Tate on the clapperboard. Yeah, but she's stood in behind one of those police things. In front of one of those police things. Yeah. Whatever. Because you should be hiding, you wouldn't be able to see her. Yeah, who, who knows? It's just semantics, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah, so she's, it's a mockumentary. Okay, like Spinal Tap. Yeah, kind of like that. Or what's the Australian one with the, the school teacher? Some Break High? Yes, like that. Yeah, um, so it's going to be six episodes long, and but we have to wait until 2022 for it to come onto the screens. It's less than six months away now. Mm, I went to see her. Um, I'm not going to say in concert, because it wasn't a concert. Live. On stage, live. Live. And she did all the characters and then came off and went off and then came back on, <laughs> came back on again. Oh. It was good, yeah. yeah. Um, I said that would be nice. That would be lovely. That would yeah. be nice, yeah. That would be nice. Be nice. Yeah. Yeah, um, right. Okay, we lo we we ha we love a bit of Mariah news, don't we? Oh, Mike, it's only it's only time until we're talking about all I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> All right, okay. Try you try and create a mood, try and create a vibe. Right, so we've got the Christmas thing. <laughs> We've got the Christmas thing, we've got the album singy thing, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> all that singy album singing thing. thing. Because Mariah Carey's known for macrame. Yeah, all that kind um, of stuff. Chinese yeah. cookery. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh -huh. she has launched in America, it's not come over here yet. Good. Mariah's <laughs> cookies. <laughs> but I've got a picture of, we've got a picture of, look, there she is with the cookies. Not, she hasn't made them. <laughs> so, made of her. Not made of her, not made of her essence. <laughs> She's not like done a Gwyneth and squatted over a candle and <laughs> flicked a bean. So she's she's given basically she's given her name and her image to this this cookie. That's a cartoon. That's a cartoon version of it. That's the Pride cookie that she had out recently okay. in Pride season. So it's apparently she it's a it's a ghost kitchen, which isn't an actual haunted kitchen. Ooh. Ooh. It's, Pass me the eggs. It's, you know, like people have ghost authors to write their autobiographies. So she's got a ghost kitchen right. to create these cookies. Why are you, what are you laughing at now? What, what, what's in your head, Mike? She's created a ghost kitchen. No, she so, hasn't created a ghost kitchen. Well, she set up a ghost kitchen. No, she's gone to a ghost kitchen. She's gone to a, So this thing already exists. She didn't see it. She didn't know where it was. <laughs> Just wandering up and down the streets of New York going, where are, where are you? And then... She heard it and then she went in. So she's found the ghost kitchen <laughs> and said, can you make me some cookies? And they've gone, all right, we can do that. And they've done it. <laughs> Got a picture of them, look. All different kinds of cookies, Mike. So you can have red velvet. Oh, that's is... a modern flavour. That... No one's done red velvet before. Red ve but it's... have they done it in a cookie? Yes. No. Red velvet, uh, chocolate chunk, triple chocolate chunk. That, that coincidentally, that's my nickname. I was gonna say, so far I've had all of those cookies from somewhere else. Heath bar, not quite sure what that is. Okay. Lemon cooler, and and spiced oatmeal raisin. Oh. And um, for kind of Halloweeny time, there's white chocolate cranberry and pumpkin Ooh. and gingerbread. Right. Yeah. So you can't go into shops and buy them. Because why would anybody want to go into a shop to buy a cookie? Hater. Yeah. Um, you have to order them and then they come delivered to your house by um, a Mariah Unicorn? Carey lookalike. <laughs> no, they don't. That would be a bonus. That would be a selling point. A man dressed as Mariah Carey. Go, here's your cookies, love. And how much are these delights? They're very, very expensive. Really? Actually. There's a surprise. Yeah. So there's so after tax, delivery charge and tip. Because in America you've got to tip for everything. You've got to put your tip yeah. and everything in. Um it it comes to thirty-seven dollars 
Okay, so it's about $3 a cookie and you get six in the pack. Six is the smallest quantity you can order. You can't just say, oh, I'll have, I'll have one, because Maria will go, no, you can't. Well, she won't answer the phone. She doesn't even cook them herself. You've got to have, you've got to have six. Um, yeah, and, and, and eleven ninety nine dollars before tax, and then they add all that stuff on. Yeah. For some cookies. For some cookies. Now, I can't. I was going to get us some cookies because we were going to taste them, but they're from America, you see. And so we can't even get them over here? No, can't get them over here yet. Is she planning on it? I don't know. I haven't asked her, Mike. Is she going to a graveyard and finding some chefs over here? You know, she, I think she's got a Ouija board. She's trying to get in touch with... Whoa. Who's that one that's dead? <laughs> that chef. <laughs> that one. Uh, Why do you do the showbiz? <laughs> I ask myself that every week. <laughs> that's, my time that's... I'll be better spent doing something else. <laughs> like slapping pigeons. <laughs> yeah, just film the slapping pigeons, yeah. you know. So, so the one that's dead? Keith Floyd. Keith Floyd's been dead for a long yeah, time. Yeah, she could, she could get in touch with him to make them. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just end the showbiz news here. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Always good to know that someone's doing something productive in the kitchen, even if it's not the person selling the produce. But coming up soon, we have Lee being a crafty queen. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. You are watching Chewing the Cud with Mike and Lee. And now it's time for Mike in the buzz. So I've been having a thumb through. Thumb, not a flick. It's not a bean. Um, <laughs> you brought that up on me, Mike. <laughs> no, but it was the reaction. It was just a bit, a bit much. Like, not again. Not again. Um, so, have you ever had to stop doing something because of a bodily function? And we're not going to, to retell this story, Mike. Let's just say that yes, I have. And let's let's move on with the information. Let's move on with the story. Yes. Okay. So. Yes. Um, well, this is a story about NBC, who've had to pull one of their premier shows for this year. Okay. okay which they called Ultimate Slip and Slide. Okay. Now, the, the idea behind the show was you're going to be lots of celebrities hurtling down sort of like massive log flumes. and. I like the sound of this. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Well. It's just celebrities in the water park, basically. Good. Yeah. Um, but they've had to pull it because of an unfortunate issue. Okay. And that's because one of the contestants, as they were going down, had explosive diarrhoea. I've been there. Yeah, have you really? Yeah. yeah. Do um, we know who it was? Have they named them? <laughs> they haven't named them. Oh. No. Um, but it was, started, it was starting to premiere, or planned to premiere, on August the 8th. Okay. Yeah. Um, but while filming, one of the contestants, should we say, lost themselves um, while on the top of the, the slip and slide. And the, the whole um, water park had to be evacuated. It was compromised. They were compromised. How much crap came out of that celebrity for well, the whole <laughs> water park to be compromised? Well, the problem is it doesn't take a lot because it, it was fluid. Yeah. And you're on a water slide, which is fast moving water. Yeah. Which then empties into another bit of water. So it, okay. it's all connected. Oh, everything's connected. Everything's connected in the in the. Oh right, park. okay. Yeah, because that's just turn the tap off for what? <laughs> they don't just go up to the top and turn the tap on. Oh, it's all connected, in all recycled water. So, I want to know who that shitty ass celebrity <laughs> is. <laughs> who could it be? Because you know it's a reality TV show, so we're not going to be talking the the A list of celebrities. We're going to be talking the C list of celebrities, even D list. Who could it be? I'm going to go with Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. Yeah, with the big clock round. I know what Flavor Flav was, yeah. And he's probably still got his big clock on as he's going down the water chute. Got his big one? Clock. Oh, clock. Clock. Sorry, misheard. Yeah. Um, because we're on such a tight schedule of filming, recording, getting it out, yeah, they've had to pull it all together. So many jokes in all of that that you've just said. Really? Tight. Uh huh. Pull it. Yeah. Get it out. Yeah. He didn't have any, well, I'm saying he, they didn't have any problem with any of that. Coming out of their bottom, did they? They didn't, no. No. No, it flew out, in fact. Um, but they had to get labs in to test the water and... Dogs? They... Labradors? <laughs> no, labs. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> How cool would that be, though? <laughs> Labradors in a little white coat. <laughs> Labradors going, there oh. seems to be poop in this water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're licking it. Oh, yeah, that's shit. 
<laughs> I'm going to move on at this point, please. To our second story. Um, now, you love a makeup artiste. I do love a makeup artiste. I like to watch them on YouTube. I do. For many hours. Many, many hours. Yeah. Have you ever had a go yourself? But no, I don't. I haven't. Apart from makeup for this show. Uh huh. And the 14 layers of, of plaster of Paris I apply every day <laughs> just to get through the regular life. I don't... don't. Oh, OK. Um, well, one makeup artist has done his face up to look like a celebrity. Oh, is it me? Yes. Someone slightly more sweary than you. Oh. That's the ever-lovely Gordon Ramsay. So makeup artist Lisa has made her face up to look like Gordon Ramsay. Oh. Yeah. Um, and there's a very long video of her doing it. OK. Because they, they do put the videos on for, for quite a while. Um, and basically, as, as they were doing it, basically Gordon Ramsay was getting more and more shocked. Okay, and he, why was he not happy? Because he didn't realise how ugly he was. <gasps> Has he not heard of a mirror? Yeah. Gordon Ramsay, I've watched the whole video all the way through. It's a good five minutes long. It's, mm. um, and he gets really upset about it. So he's like filming himself watching it. Yeah. Going, oh, I am bloody... What are you putting makeup on for? Okay. But actually, a question that he asks right. from a makeup artist, getting really irate about it. Okay. Um, but looks really like Gordon Ramsay at the end of it, or David Bowie. Yeah. He's he's not a he's not a stranger to the filler and the Botox. That, that's got a filter on it. No, he does. He, that's got he a didn't he get really angry when he went over to America and had stuff done, and then people said, "Oh, so you've had some Botox?" And he was like, "I haven't." And it's like, "Well, no, you did. You went in looking like a creased shirt." And you've come out looking like, you know, a was porcelain say, plate. You, you've gone in looking like a scrotum. Yeah. And you've come out looking like a plate. Yeah. 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 And he was or like, no, I haven't. It's like, well, nobody's, nobody, you know. It's like, just answer the question. Just do it, man. Or is it a big bulldog clip at the back of his head? Yeah. Keeping it all together. Just be flattered. Yeah. Do you watch the tennis? No. No. Not even a little bit? No, I'm not. A, I'm not. As you can tell... I'm not of a sports frequenting. Well, you don't have to watch. You don't have to get in shape to watch it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm going wrong then. <laughs> um, no, I don't. Well, I, uh, no. I think I might change your mind. Do you? Yes. Let's see Do you that. know who Rafael Nadal is? He's a, he's a tennis player. He is a tennis player. Yes, um, and he's got a special deal with Nike. Has he? Or Nike, if you that okay. way inclined, um, for his own brands of, of, of sportswear. 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 Including, Down below sportswear. Including these shorts. Okay. What do you think of these lovely pink shorts? They're snug. They're, they're snug and he's a very lucky man. Shorts. Are we taking a moment just to just appreciate um, his shorts? I am not, I'm not, I, I need to see another picture of his face. You need to see another picture of his face? Yeah. Why? Because he, in that picture there, it's he not... is, he's a little bit cute. So yeah, he, he wore his, his pink shorts during a, a charity match. And, and those are the ones he's been sponsored to wear? They're the ones he's in collaboration with, Nike. Oh, there doesn't look like there's a lot of room in the old um, frontage groinal area. There's there's not a lot of frontage space now. No, it looks like it's yeah. point, looks like it's pointing up. Well, maybe making it, is. it point up. Yeah, but uh, our question is where he's going to put his balls. Um, For playing tennis. Oh, okay. They put them they under their the armpits, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so yes, it reminds me of my favourite Joe Lysett joke. What's that then? Which is, um, why do women tennis players sound like they're having an orgasm? And why is my mum playing tennis in the bathroom? <laughs> That's rotten. Remember, you can interact with us on social media. We're at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And on YouTube, we are Chewing The Cud. Now we have story of the week. You have some trust issues on occasion, don't you? On occasion? Like whenever every I get... Every second of every waking moment of the day, <laughs> Mike. Like when I get out my cloche. Yeah, oh no, you're not doing it again, are you? We're, we're doing another food item. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but this one is, I think you'll appreciate. Would you like to see what's under my cloche? No. Good. <laughs> Little pizza. Okay. See, that's not scary, is it? No, it's what it's made of, it's where it's been. This is made of pizza. Yeah. This is a regular, tiny pizza. Yeah. And I've got one for you. Thank you. Right, and I've got one for me. Why are there, why are there three, Mike? Because there's a spare. Okay. Okay. Now, 
It's just a ham pizza. A ham pizza. Because someone doesn't like pineapple. No, it's a crime. So I purposefully took pineapple off the pizza Good. before cooking it. Good. Just because you're weird. Good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass you some special, what I, what I lovingly call meat scissors. <laughs> that, they... <laughs> would, you, would you like a pair of meat scissors? I would like a pair of meat scissors. Okay. These are meat scissors. They're for <laughs> meat. And the bit in the middle is to crack the bone. We've been through this. <laughs> They're kitchen shears. Okay, how would you cut the pizza? Um, I would... See, I Just wouldn't cut it. them with... Oh, you want me to do it? I want you to actually cut the pizza. Okay, because I wouldn't cut them with scissors, because I'm not, I'm not a tramp. I would cut them with an actual a proper... pizza wheel. Pizza wheel. But the problem wheel. with the pizza wheel, yeah, is you've got nowhere to use it on the, on the set. Eh? Huh? So where would you use your pizza wheel? On the pizza. But where? On the, I would put it on the table and yeah, do it. Yeah, I didn't want you to damage your laptop. So yeah. Uh, okay. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. So you cut it like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, a gentleman on TikTok has shared how to get free pizza and still share. Free pizza. Free pizza. So if I invited you round to my bijou home for a pizza night, okay, and I, I had these pizzas cooked. Yes. Right. I could eat pizza without you ever knowing. Oh, okay. Okay. And the way to do that is you get your lovely pizza and you cut it, you cut a strip out the middle. Like that. Okay. Cut a strip out the middle. Mm -hmm. And then you cut the same width strip out the other side. Like this. Is it because your friends have just gone home by the time you've done that, because they're bored? Well, no, because it's easy with a pizza wheel. And then once you've, once you've done that, you've got some lovely pizza pieces. And no one will ever know. No one would ever know? No one would ever know I've just stolen all that pizza for me. I would know. I'd go, one, what, what the hell is that? It's and two, pizza. where's the rest of the pizza, you greedy <laughs> It's pizza. <laughs> It's a round pizza. No. Okay. That's why you have no friends. I just eat the pizza. I don't invite By the way, pizza. I'm eating all of that later. <laughs> and that. And that. <laughs> and that's why there's a third. <laughs> that's all from the buzz this week. Wonderful. Thank you, Mike. You generous, generous pizza person. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned, because coming up next, we have this one doing Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to do something crafty. Not witch crafty, of course. It's... Hello. Welcome to my beautiful Crafty Queen studio. A little bit of witchcraft goes on here. So Mike wasn't <laughs> far from, from from the truth. Mike. I was gonna say it's more of bitchcraft than witchcraft. Mike, do you ever feel discombobulated, angry at the world, just a general malaise about life? I sometimes feel my ennui. Nice. Yeah. Well, in today in Crafty Queens, we're gonna make something that will help you calm down at the end of a hard working day. I, I like to be calm after something hard. Mm, it's not not that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, before you, you have a, 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 a selection of accoutrements mm -hmm. um, because we are going to make a glitter vortex jar. <gasps> I know. What you're going to need is glitter glue uh -huh. or dry glitter. Oh, oh, don't want to go in dry. Um, that kind of gel that you use to colour food. food. Um, some warm water. Tepid, yeah. Something that I know you've got a lot of at home, baby oil. Don't have a lot of baby oil, actually. Yeah, a little bit of baby oil. Um, and a glass jar with a, with a lid that you can fit tight. Oof, oh, tight. Yes. Yeah. So, what you're going to do first, Mike, is get your, get your jug of water. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to pour half of the water uh -huh. into your glass jar. Do I need to take the lid off first? Do we need to do what? Do I take the lid off first? Yeah, common sense would advise that. Well, right? you said the first thing I need to do is pour the water in, not the first thing to remove the lid. Not even like two minutes in and he's angered me. I'm going to need to make <laughs> three of these. 
Okay. Okay. So yes, so you've you've got you've got the water in there. I okay. have, yeah. Right. So now what I want you to do is take your glitter glue. Uh huh. The the lid lifts up. The red end lifts up. So I've got to play with the red end until something comes out, yeah. Yeah. Just pop it up to release it, and then I want you to squirt a good dash of of glitter glue into your water. It might be an idea to take the, t the lid off. <laughs> I think it might be. Yeah, and just squirt a great big dollop in there. Oh, oh, we like that. It made a good plump noise. Oh, it's like a worm. <laughs> Get like a blob, that's enough. That's okay. enough, Mike. That's enjoyable, um, And then what you're gonna do is, uh -huh. your, your chosen color of um, gel. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to squirt some of that in to the water. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to mix that together with your wooden spoon. Yeah. Oh, looks like I'm making an autopsy. <laughs> because what you, what you want to do yeah. is stir it until all the glitter glue uh -huh. has dissolved. Oh. Cooking! As well as crafty stuff. Oh. oh. So this looks like it's dissolved. Well, it's, it's less it, lumpy. Is it starting to dissolve yours, Mike? It's starting to dissolve. It's, it's, so it's, we'll it's looking a bit green. It's going green. Can you see sparkles? I can see some sparkles. No, 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 no. Dude, did I say add more water? I needed to add more water. The viscosity was wrong. I didn't say that. I thought you didn't. You've compromised the whole integrity of the piece now. Integrity. <laughs> integrity of this <laughs> so right so if we had more time we wouldn't be doing this we would spend we would be doing something better. We would, yeah we wouldn't be doing this um we would spend more time mixing the glitter glue in okay, okay. now it gets more fun more, more fun, fun than dissolving glue more fun right you so you've got a selection of dry glitters there. dry glitters yeah dry glitters you can pour in as much glitter as you want into what? Into the into, into the, the jar. Into a jar. No, your anal cavity, Mike. The jar. Oh, I'm just going to go for the whole lot. Okay. Okay, so some... what colours have you gone for, Mike? Um, I've got a, like a pinky purpley fuchsia thing. Oh, okay. And uh, a slightly. Now, if you were doing this oh. at home, you could use as much or as little glitter glue as you want. Okay. And um, once you've poured your glitter in, yep. are you happy with the amount of glitter? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. You're going to give that a little bit of a mix. Okay. Oh, it's magical, Mike. Yeah. Magical. Oh, can you see? Oh, how pretty is that? Mmm. Oh, here it's you like are. A, a, a now, elf has vomited. Um, because we want it to have kind of like a, a, a galaxy type vibe. Okay, yeah. You're going to add your um, little tub full of uh, baby oil. Okay. Okay. Now, earlier you said you had lots of baby oil. Like, ooh, takes me back to my childhood. Mm. I use baby oil to help me shave my head. Do you? Yeah. Um, that and coconut oil. Okay, so I've, I've added yeah. in the baby oil. And then you add the, now you can add the rest of the water, Mike. Okay, add the rest of the now, water. You can add the rest of the water. Now, we haven't got quite enough water. Okay. Which, you know, is a, it's not a huge. It's not a huge problem. It's not a huge problem. No. Slight, but not a huge problem. Okay. What you would do at home is you would fill it all the way up to the brim. Not the total top. Okay, not the total top. Not the total top. Just kind of the sort of rim bit there. <laughs> so the yeah. So not the total top. Just not the, the total rim. top. Just the rim. Are you purposely saying these words, Ling? Yeah. So and then give that another mix. Right, another mix. Okay. Yeah. 
Right? Now, so if you were if you were doing this properly at home, not the half-assed attempt we're doing here, you would have filled, filled it up with more water. And then put it in the bin. Yeah. Then you, you've also got your lid. I, I do have a lid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I would, you know, if you were going to have this sort of lying around the house and you were going to use it regularly, I would put a little bit of glue around the rim. It's glue always, it's always good to rim. well lubricate your rim before you do anything with it. Um, and then you would screw it onto the top. Okay. So you can you can no, do no, that, screw, Mike. Screwing onto the top. Yep. Screw it on tight. It's on tight. Okay, as tight as you can. Right. Those limp wrists. Come on. Right. I now. Can get things on tight. Everything's on tight. Now, this is the exciting bit. Is now we're gonna we're gonna create a whirling galaxy. Okay. So imagine imagine you've had your worst day at work. It's it's gone horribly horribly wrong. Okay. Your dinner order wasn't what you wanted. Mm -hmm. Um. Other things that you do at work. I don't know what you don't do. just eat at work. Yeah, um, and you're angry. How am I going to calm down? Take your jar. Take your jar and give it a good shake, Mike. Ugh. Mix it all up. Ugh. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Get it swirling round. Right. And then put it back down on the table. Well, yes, yeah, you don't have to put it on the table. Look at the sparkle on that, Mike. Look into it. Look into the jar. See the calmness. This Feel jar the leaks. calmness. This Mine is, is just leaky. red froth. Is it leaking? Your, this jar is defective and leaky. You didn't you didn't put the lid on properly. It can't go on any tighter. You put it on at a wrong angle. It's the only way it would go on. You've ruined it again. You've ruined the. How, how do I ruin something that's faulty? You ruin you ruin the first. Not only one. does it look like I don't know, ruin the second one. Fairy fairy sewage. Neil Buchanan wouldn't put up with this crap. Huh? Neil Buchanan wouldn't put up with this crap. It wouldn't make this kind of crap, that's why. <laughs> It'd have made 47,000 and made a picture in somebody's car park with these. And it'd still find have a leaky one, probably. Well, for those of you that are home that are a functioning human and can have, a, you know, dexterity, um, go ahead and try it. It's really exciting. Show you dexterity. Next week, <laughs> creating candles from our own earwax. We better be doing that, actually. You collect your earwax for next week then. So so this is supposed to de-stress me. Yeah. Look, and it swirls baby... round and it's like, well, you see, I think we need all the water in it. To, all the water. Yeah. Otherwise you've just got a bowl of a jar of crap. I think even when it's full it'd be a jar of crap. I'm, not only does it leak. Right, but it's it's green and pink. Do I have a budget for this, Mike? Do I have a budget? <laughs> it's like you can polish a turd, but it's still a turd. And you can apparently dunk it in a jar full of water and glitter. <laughs> you can roll a human crap in as glitter, as much glitter as you want. But if you cut it in half and have a nibble, it's still human turd. I'm worried about you. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, YouTube and on podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Don't you shake it at me, at least. Shake. Oh, see, see, at least, doesn't it? Yeah, at least.